We've been discussing AMD Zen quite a lot around these parts, given the amount of information and rumours and just general discussion that's been going around surrounding AMD's next processor, but now I have some interesting news regarding Intel's Kaby Lake series of CPUs. Now basically, according to DigiTimes, Kaby Lake is scheduled to be launching in the third quarter of this year, but will not begin volume production until the end of 2016, while well, AMD is set to release the Zen series of chips at the end of the year as well. It basically means that these two CPUs will be heading off against each other, and it could spell a bit of trouble for AMD if they fail to win a significant bit of market share. Now, as we all know, Intel originally planned to have their 10NM Cannon Lake succeed its 14NM Skylake architecture in mid-2016. However, they changed their plans to push the 14NM KB Lake as a successor, basically allowing the 10NM process more time to increase yield rates. As for KB Lake, well, that series will begin with the U series and will start small volume production in mid-June with mass production to start in either November or December and the corresponding chipsets, chip including the Z270 and H270 series, will be announced in October at the earliest. As for AMD, they will release their AM4 socket-based 8-core high-end Summit Ridge and Raven Ridge series processes, both using Zen architecture and, of course, manufactured on Samsung's and Global Foundry's 14NM processes in the first quarter of 2017. Basically, the timing of the dates and the releases of these particular CPUs means that it's very much going to be KB Lake versus Zen. And I'm a little bit concerned for AMD, not because they don't make good products, they very much do, but because Intel have always been king, at least for the last few years, in the CPU space. Perhaps Zen will be good enough to change that? It might possibly be so as of course some people were disappointed with the performance and a few other factors regarding Skylake, so it is indeed possible that AMD just might manage to tip the scales this time, but uh, there might be a little bit of trouble if they don't, and it certainly seems that Intel are squared up to take them head on with KB Lake. So I'm curious to know who do you think will win this particular CPU war, if you want some more information on either of these CPUs, there's a ton of videos to choose from on this very channel so I suggest you get watching because you're going to be there a while. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.